What's up and welcome back to Interpreting the Scares. That's right, we're back at it on our month-long journey through the nightmares with yet another film to check off that bucket list of terror. And this is the third special or extra review of the month covering current horror films that come out in October. The first, of course, was Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Then we talked about Hellraiser. And now Michael Myers is back once again for the Halloween series and potentially the last movie in the franchise again with Halloween ends. <laughs> Four years after the events of Halloween in 2018, Lori has decided to liberate herself from fear and rage and embrace life. But when a young man is accused of killing a boy that he was babysitting, it ignites a cascade of violence and terror in the town once again That'll force Lori to finally confront the evil that she can't control once and for all. Before I go on with my review of Halloween Ends, this will be a spoiler review. You've been warned, spoiler warning, all that. Now on to my review of Halloween Ends. I'm a weird one when it comes down to the Halloween franchise in general because it's never one that I've loved. So when I saw that a lot of people have been kind of pooping on this movie specifically, it didn't really change my perspective on it or my anticipation towards what it would be or what it would mean for the series as a whole because it was never something that I've loved as a general rule. I've just, I've been okay with it from beginning to end. The only movie that I really honestly enjoyed out of all of them was probably uh, Halloween 3 Seasons of the Witch, you know, the only movie that didn't actually have Michael Myers. It's kind of a controversial or hot take that I have on the series as a whole because everybody seems to hate it, but I, I, I don't know, honestly, I love that movie. I just thought it was a lot of fun and original and different and I liked what they were going for. So it is kind of no surprise to me that even though everybody seems to hate on Halloween Ends, I kind of enjoy it. I honestly had a good time with it because they set out to do something different, a little bit more unique, a little bit something more original. It's not the same old thing over and over again because instead of just focusing once again on just Lori doing her thing and Michael Myers doing his thing over and over again, which has become a little bit of a tiring, age-old, repetitive, stereotypical thing, it has now changed to a slightly different perspective because in this film there's a new character called Corey Cunningham that is kind of the new main character of the film. Lori is of course there, but since 2018 things have changed for them. Lori has kind of retired from her let's wait it out and trap and kill Michael stage and now she's just like I can't do this forever I just want to enjoy being an old lady you know baking cookies okay that's a little bit of an uh, overstatement but really honestly it's focusing on this child Corey not really child young man young man Corey who is kind of a tormented young man you know he was accused of killing this kid when he was younger when he was babysitting and this has followed him around throughout his life. He gets bullied, he gets picked on. He can't really escape his own past, we'll put it that way. First, Lori's like, this kid's awesome. I see the innocence in him, he's a good kid. But then all of a sudden, she looks at him and all she can see is Michael. She can see Michael Myers through his eyes. Something changes in him and uh, you know, it seems to repeat history a little bit, except it's not Michael Myers this time, it's this kid, Corey. And even though Michael Myers is in the movie, of course, he doesn't play a vital role. He's just kind of in the background while Corey Cunningham becomes essentially the new Michael Myers. And honestly, I kind of liked the direction that they were taking here because it was kind of like a passing of the torch film. It was kind of like a uh, accomplice film. So Michael Myers didn't have to work alone now. He got this, he's got this team because you know, Michael Myers, he's old now, you know. How much, how much more can you do at that age? So I figured if they wanted to, they could continue the franchise with this new kid that's doing honestly a pretty great job in this diabolical evil setting in persona. Because I've seen quite a few reviews on this film and people seem to be disappointed or they hate it altogether because there's not a lot of Michael Myers in it. 
because there's just focusing on this kid and nobody really seems to care about this kid. And I'll be honest, I, I feel like the best way to do this kid justice is if he was in all of the new Halloween movies, like from 2018 on, instead of just Halloween ends, like that would have made a little bit more sense uh, character development wise. But what they did just with this film alone, I didn't, I didn't mind at all. I thought that it was a lot of fun. I thought it was different and unique and it gave me the idea that what makes Michael Myers work in the first place is the evil, the rage, you know? He is just incarn evil incarnate. And slowly by slowly, this Corey kid seems to be enveloping this evil incarnate personality that Michael Myers had. And whatever makes Michael Myers work, to me, makes this kid work as well. I do have a problem with the ending though, because I was all in to this idea of a passing of the torch. I was all in for an accomplice of Michael Myers until, you know, maybe Michael Myers gets killed off, whatever. As long as they keep that momentum and they keep the idea open of further sequels with a new Michael Myers, so to speak, with this Corey. But that's not what they do in this film. Of course, we have Michael Myers gets killed off because Halloween ends, of course, and then we have Corey Cunningham also dies. If you're gonna kill off this kid who was gonna be this passing of the torch situation, why even approach this idea in the first place? When that happened, I felt like the entire movie kind of sort of felt pointless. Like I didn't mind him being in the forefront, being the new Michael Myers, because it still felt like a Halloween movie to me, because it still felt like a slasher, it still felt like Michael Myers' presence is there in this kid. But if they're just gonna kill him off in the first place, then What's, what was the point? So I am a little bit bittersweet on the film. I think in general, I did enjoy it. I enjoyed it more than Halloween Kills, that's for sure. Uh, Halloween 2018, I probably enjoyed the most out of all three movies. I didn't have the same expectation or needs out of this film that everybody else seemed to have when it comes down to Michael Myers. They need to have him in the forefront doing all the kills. No, but then again, I did enjoy Season of the Witch, which didn't even have Michael Myers anyway. So once again, it's another hot take from me where everybody else hates the movie. I'm quite all right with it. I thought it was well done. I thought it was well shot. A lot of practical effects was really well done in terms of gore, in terms of violence. Uh, I thought that the climax when it comes down to the absolute end battle between Lori and Michael was pretty darn spot on perfect. I thought a lot of the analogies that goes on with this town and how they're affected by Michael over the decades was poetic in a way. I thought that that was really smart. I thought that it was all well done. I can't say that it wasn't. I was a little bit annoyed with the ending and of course making it feel like the entire movie was a little bit pointless, but other than that, I was all right. So let's look at my end score for a second for Halloween Ends, which I scored an A minus letter grade. Final overall score of 86%, 86 out of 100 possible stars. You can see that a majority of the highest part of the score comes from my bias score, just kind of how I felt about it in general. Because I was engaged, I was having a good time in terms of just being a Halloween movie. It feels different finally. It doesn't feel like the same old shtick over and over again. It felt like it was taking a risk, even though it was a little bit controversial in what it was doing specifically. And I liked the risk that it took. Overall, I had a good time with it. You probably didn't because the majority of people didn't, but that's okay. Guys, what did you think about Halloween ends? Do you think it's actually over? Or do you think they'll just continue on down the road and be like, oh, this movie never happened and have a real Halloween 2 again? Let me know. And as for YouTube, you guys know what to do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell to be notified when I come out with my next review. And until then, peace.